is to help me out with what you want to see on my channel, um, you know, game-wise, going forward. Um, I'll get all the little bits out of the way, first of all. Uh, I do have a Patreon account, which you can um, join up with. It's a dollar a month, and you can access to early, well, you can get early access on quite a few different videos, up to 30 days early, sometimes uh, more. Um, they will eventually go up on the YouTube channel, but obviously you've got to have a little bit of a bonus uh, for joining up, and that will obviously help to support the channel and help to um, help me make interesting content going forward. Um, things which are maybe a little bit different from the normal stuff. Um, so August has seen the... Well, it's seen a couple of new series, really, I guess. Um, it's in the return of uh, fantasy football, which some of you will love and some of you, I guess, won't love, <laughs> depending on whether you like football or not. But um, I'm really enjoying that and I'm really enjoying uh, football at the minute. I picked up a Now TV pass for Sky Sports for just £20 uh, for a month for the season, um, which is not that much in the UK. Football, uh, watching football in the UK is really expensive compared to watching it in other parts of the world. We, d we do get screwed over here to watch our own league, um, but, you know, I I've really enjoyed it and I want to watch more matches. It was one thing I kind of regretted last season was I didn't watch as many of the matches live as I wanted to for various reasons, so um, I picked that up and enjoyed the first weekend of the Premier League. It was really good. It was awesome to watch. Um, and jump into and um, obviously we've got the, the fantasy football content going up I can't guarantee what day that will go up each week because um, obviously it um, depends on when the football matches are sometimes with the fantasy football like for example this weekend coming up the match last match is on the Monday so it probably won't go up till the Tuesday but other days it could be on the Monday it could be a bit later than that if there's midweek fixtures so well, it will it'll, it'll go up, hopefully, the day after, um, you know, the, the, the last match of that week, shall we say, um, for you guys to enjoy, and we'll chat about the football where possible. Um, also, I jumped in and played some Ultimate Team. Um, I'm not looking at that as a full-length, kind of 62-part series like my other FIFA was, um, but I'm just kind of playing around in it. Um, the players are all cheap at the minute because you've got FIFA 19 coming out in September so it's it's just a little bit of fun and obviously I kind of as I'm watching football I kind of want to also tempt it to play the football you know so um, that's kind of jumped up but I would expect that not to last too much longer um, so yeah for reasons we'll go into in a bit and Warframe uh, I will say with Warframe um, thank you to everybody who is kind of commenting on that uh, I've heard that the Warframe community is, is really great and I've been kind of like massively surprised at how many people are just kind of like giving me advice and you know coming out and saying how much they uh, really love the game and I too am really loving the game um, it is really really good um, I do recommend it. it, it's free, but even if I had to pay for it, I, I don't think I would be sad, <laughs> you know, um, it, it's really good, uh, the, kind of, it doesn't have like a, a pay to win model or anything like that, you can, you can craft everything, you know, it, it's really, really good, um, I, I, I can't say that enough, like, it's a really good game, and there's more updates coming, you know, it, it's something that's continuously going, so, it's awesome. I will say about the Elder Scrolls Online as well, I realise I haven't had much content go up. It's been about three weeks, I think. Um, I've had so many issues playing that game. I went in to record an episode, got about 15 minutes in, my internet cut out, kicked me from the game. Uh, I then recorded it, then went, okay, uh, not straight afterwards, but a few days later, because if something like that happens, I'm like, okay, I'll move on to another game, and that doesn't require the internet or something. Um, so I went back to it a few days later, tried to play it, and um, my PC just turned off. 
<laughs> just about 10 minutes in, PC just reset randomly. I was like, brilliant. This is great. This is so where I will get back to it. I promise you that much. But it's just one of those things where I've become a little bit frustrated, um, kind of keep jumping back in and, and recording and that kind of stuff. You know, and time is tight. Time is money, you know, as they say. Um, but yeah, so that that will be coming back. Um, you'll see a few little Hearthstone videos going up. Uh, as I mentioned in this um, Hearthstone video, I'm not going to invest in this expansion for, personally for me. There's way too many video games coming out in September, October, November, which warrant spending 40 quid on more than a Hearthstone expansion. And I've got issues with Hearthstone, but the fact of the matter is they did it. Jump, uh, let, put this card in called Whizbang the Wonderful, which is awesome, and basically creates a deck for you, and that's really good. So I, I've played a few games of that and uh, recorded it. So a little bit of Hearthstone there um, for you. Uh, the Sims is probably gonna come to an end by the time we get into September because of some of the games coming out there. But I've really enjoyed my time in that as well. No Man's Sky, I'm just kind of playing through and uploading a video here and there and doing things. I play it quite a bit off camera as well. So, um, yeah, you know, I don't know where the logical conclusion of this that series is. Um, people still seem to be enjoying it, which is great. So, we'll see, I guess. Uh, but as I said, there's, there's a lot of games coming. We'll get to that in a minute. Vampire. Vampire's a game which... I've like really kind of fallen in love with as in it's not going to be my best um, kind of viewed videos you know the views are, are well pretty bad compared to a lot of my other stuff but I really really am enjoying it the tone and atmosphere of that game is so good uh, I really love it and uh, the story's really interesting as we go through so I'm just going to play it because I really like it and um I don't know how many more episodes there are left. I, I hope to get it finished sometime before October, probably, uh, if not a bit before. But we'll see. I, I'm not too sure how long it is. Um, I probably won't do like every side quest or anything like that. But you know, it uh, it's really good. I, I recommend checking it out if you haven't already. Um, it, it it's a really fun game. You know, it's by the guys who made Life is Strange, which. Um, for me, I, it didn't click with me. Not I, I thought it was technically like a really good game. It was just the story didn't quite click with me. I wasn't really into the whole kind of high school vibe of it. Um, but uh, I could see from what I had played of it um, that it was like it seemed really good. It just didn't, as I said, the setting didn't quite click with me. Whereas with Vampire, the setting really has clicked with me. So um, I've really, really enjoyed that. It's good. Um, Fallout's just going along. I've still got a, probably about another. Episodes of that pre recorded, so you're gonna see a lot more fallout. It doesn't, I don't care if you don't like it, <laughs> it's, it's there. I love, I have loved playing through Fallout 4 uh, with the mods and just doing the whole kind of role play survival thing. It's so much fun, it really is. Um, you know, Bethesda need to hurry up and release Fallout 76 because I'm just getting so, like, you know. There's Bethesda games are special, you know. There's people always complain, oh they're buggy, oh they're this, oh they're that. But you know, they always nail the tone and the story and just the world, you know. Um, and there's something really special about those games, and I'm just hankering for more, you know. It's been a while since we had Fallout 4 and everything, and obviously 76 is coming out, but we don't quite know how that's going to be yet it's a new undertaking for them but still very exciting um but really the elder scrolls 6 is just like i'm just like oh my god please i know that's at least two to three years away if not more but oh i want that so badly um yeah and um wednesday as well we'll see the release of early access you know videos as they come up and, and go so keep a look out for them as I said, you can, you can, uh, I guess, support the channel with a dollar a month and and get access to those extra videos if you wish. It's totally up to you, though. Now, let's go on to this and have a look. Uh, these are some of the main release games coming out 
over September and uh, November. Now, uh, a couple of omissions from this, um, one being FIFA 19. I'm very wary of this. A lot of people have played the beta for that and have said, oh, it's absolutely no different from FIFA 18. This is awful. I don't know how much that is literally just clickbait of people, how much that is the fact that it's a beta, how much that is true. So, you know, if FIFA 19 comes out, they do something interesting with the career mode, they do something interesting. I, I might look and get it, but I wouldn't hold your horses on the way it currently is being, you know, described, I guess. Um, but September 4th is Destiny 2 Forsaken. I'm very on the fence about whether or not I want to play this expansion. Um, I've really been getting into Warframe. And that's really been kind of hitting that itch that Destiny has, you know. Even though it's it's very different, you don't get the loot drop and stuff like that. But I just, I don't know if I'm just very kind of jaded on Destiny. And I might give it a miss because, um, number one, it, they just keep rinsing people for money and keep disappointing. You know, these expansions they've had recently where it's been like four or five missions I'm in Destiny for the single player, I'll say that much. I don't mind the like strikes and other stuff, but primarily I just really enjoy the, the world and the story content, and they've really been poor with that recently. Now, I know they said they're going to do more with Forsaken, but also from the looks of it, they're focusing on the kind of um, longer end game. You know, they've talked a lot about the end game and stuff like that, and honestly, that's not for me. I totally understand why they're doing it, and I'm very happy for those players who want to continue. Destiny, you know, you know, on, on a kind of like regular basis with friends and things like that. But you know, for me, it, it was never really about that. So I think where they're perhaps trying to cater more towards those fans, fans like me, might lose out. I'll obviously check out reviews, you know, and have a look and see what there is. If it's something where they're like, oh yeah, this has got like a 15-hour campaign in it, and it's really awesome, you know, similar on the lines maybe of. Um, uh, the one with the dread, or I can't even remember the name of it, it's been so long, you know, the, the last one that was good, if it's along those lines then I might check it out, but ultimately I think I'm going to give it a pass, because you've only got another three days till you've got Spider-Man, and Spider-Man's a game I am going to play on the channel, I've already pre-ordered it, I've got a PlayStation 4 Pro ready and waiting, and yeah, I, I really want to play uh, Spider-Man, I know a lot of people are going to, and I might just do some kind of wonder videos or things like that rather than actual playthrough of it. Um, kind of depends uh, on how I feel about it. And then play, I might record like a couple of episodes and then just see. Depends how the game is. Like we still don't know too much about it. Everybody's kind of saying loads about it and we, we don't know that much yet. You know, hasn't had a review. Everyone's hyping it up, but it's still a little of an unknown quantity. Um, yeah, I could do some streams or something like that on it for sure, um, but we'll see on that one. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it's a game I'm really looking forward to. I've loved the other two Tomb Raiders. Um, this is a game which I'm very much kind of like opening up to you guys. Do you want to see Shadow of the Tomb Raider um, on the channel? You know, I, I really enjoy the game and I'm definitely going to play through it, but you know, do you want to see that on the channel? Because there's no point me going around recording all of it if everyone's like, nah, actually don't want to see that very much. So, yeah, I'll, I'll probably put up a poll after this video goes up with some of these games I'm unsure of and then gauge kind of by what you guys think um, about, you know, what we're going to do. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see. But that one does intrigue me a lot. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it looks really interesting at the very least, again I would probably do some wonder videos I know that the hub is supposed to be really cool and I could also do some like tombs as well, you know, rather than the actual main story content, so that's an option as well uh, we got Spyro, um, I'm intrigued by Spyro a lot um, I, I enjoyed the, the kind of, uh, I, I played the Spyro games earlier, but it was a long time ago and I can't remember anything about them so you'll have to kind of uh, bear with me on that one if I do play through it, but I'm intrigued by it, Spyro definitely, again I'll definitely wait for reviews and things like that, see whether or not I want to actually 
you know, pull the trigger on it. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll totally see. Um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, yes, 100% going to play through that. And that will be on the channel as well. I did Origins um, last year, really loved that. Uh, Odyssey looks really good. <laughs> um, and you can play as a male or female character. I, I don't know which one I'd go for, to be honest with you. I'd have to have a look a bit closer at the time. But Assassin's Creed Odyssey, yes, I will be playing through that on the channel. Uh, Forza Horizon 4, I'm really looking forward to. Yes, I will be doing videos on the channel. Uh, I don't know how many. Depends on, I guess, popularity and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, probably a good, you know, at least a good half a dozen or so, I'd say. So, again, looking forward to that. That's, uh, you know, definitely, definite get for me and um, definite pick up. Uh, Black Ops 4 Battlefield 5. I'd like to get into one of these games. Um, Battlefield 5, I think, does look really interesting. It just looks absolute carnage. I don't think these games are properly suited for the channel. I, I don't mind so much. Um, I like to have a good variety of games on the channel, but I think like the reality is that it might I, I might not get either of them. If that makes sense. Of the two, Battlefield Five definitely intrigues me more because of the setting. I like a good World War Two uh, kind of setting. And it, as I said, it does look crazy. So, from what we've seen, but there's still a little way out. And then, of course, you have the behemoth that is Red Dead Redemption 2. It should go without saying that this game is going to have a big presence on my channel. Uh, I have played through Red Dead Redemption 1 on the channel. You can check that out. I love that game. Uh, not only do I love the characters in that game, the world, the atmosphere... Uh, the gameplay, just everything about that game I love. I think a lot of people jump on the Red Dead bandwagon like as soon as they heard Red Dead 2, they're like, oh god, yeah, I oh, can't wait for this. And I don't know if all of them have actually ever played through Red Dead Redemption 1. <laughs> um, it, it's okay to, to be excited for this game. It looks incredible. Um, we've seen uh, a gameplay trailer now, and whew, yeah, it, it looks incredible. Um, yeah, without a doubt, I, I've actually booked off a few days off work just before that game coming out because I'm so excited for it. Um, it it's literally the reason why I have a PlayStation 4 Pro. Um, like, I got the PlayStation 4 Pro before I knew about Spider-Man. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, it, it, this was kind of like, I was like, yes, Red Dead Redemption 2. Because, of course, Rockstar are pulling a Rockstar and they're not, they're not going to do a PC port. Uh, straight out of the bat, they haven't announced a PC port yet, obviously, because they want people to buy the Xbox and Playstations. Uh, but one will come, I guarantee you of that. Now, Red Dead 1 never came to PC, but let me tell you, GTA 5 shifted enough copies on PC that they will absolutely release a PC version of Red Dead 2, just probably a year later, like they did with uh, GTA 5, which sucks for people who only play on PC. Um, it really does. Um, I think that's really shitty business, personally. And uh, I, I don't believe a company the size of Rockstar needs to concentrate on a console port and then do a PC port, especially with the way the architectures of the of you know, consoles and PC are so much closer together now than they ever were on previous uh, Rockstar games. So I think that's shitty business practice, personally, and it disappoints me. But... It doesn't mean I'm less hyped about the game, unfortunately. <laughs> you know, I, I am incredibly excited about this game. I think about it daily. <laughs> um, you know, for me, this is up there with probably, like, Zelda as a game I'm just so looking forward to. You know, Zelda was a game where I was like, you know, I pretty much brought a Switch just to play Zelda because I was like, this looks so good. And for me, it reminds me of it a little bit in so much as there's this massive kind of open world and the world is like the thing which is dragging me into the game the, the characters look great the story looks really interesting the you know combat looks great the horse physics look amazing but it's that world every time i see those views and those vistas i'm just oh man i just want to ride around um you know or walk around the swamps and i just it looks incredible and uh yeah, I think it's it, 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 I think it's going to be great. Rock 
from start. I've said this before, they haven't released a bad game in such a long time. I, I don't know if they ever have, but they really haven't released one in a long time. And, um, yeah, this is, that's, that's going to be big. So, yeah, absolutely expect my channel probably for at least the first week or two to have a video up of that every day, uh, I would imagine. I'm planning on just dedicating, you know, three or four days of my life to that to begin with and just recording through and play it and then, you know, seeing how that is because I just can't wait for it. It looks so good. There's a Walking Dead game coming out on 8th of November. We don't know too much about it yet, but I just included that because it might intrigue me. Uh, Hitman 2. I played a little bit of Hitman 1. Not when it came out, when it was free. And it looked quite good fun. Um, and maybe the second one might be something I'm intrigued in. And then another game that's definitely going to get played is Fallout 76 on November 14th. I think it is. I think these dates are still right. I did this at E3, so excuse me if the dates are a little bit out. Uh, Fallout 76, super looking forward to it. They have announced so much stuff. Like the number one thing people were terrified of was griefing. For some reason, I'm not quite sure why, because I don't think it's as big a deal as a lot of people are making out, but I think a lot of the core base who love Fallout games, who love Bethesda games, are slightly terrified of online games, and or, or perhaps just don't play them very often and, and want a single player experience, but they've explained a lot about the anti-griefing system that they've got in. It seems really good. Um, you know, the fact of the matter is that if someone finds you, they can't just snipe you from a million miles away and you die. It'll be like a little tap on you. And then if you want to, you can initiate PvP, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. They can still kill you with those little taps, but it takes a while. And then they'll get a bounty on them, which comes out of their own money, and everyone will be able to see them on the map. And you don't really get penalised for dying. So, you know, it's it seems really cool. It seems really good idea that what they've done with things, and they've thought about it a lot, I think. And um, I like that there's even like a passive mode, so that they were saying, like in the beta testing, that uh, some people were like jumping in the way of someone shooting a monster to try to initiate PvP. So they brought in a passive mode where even if you shoot uh, another player, it won't do anything. Uh, it won't initiate PvP or anything. So that seems really cool. Uh, private servers are a must for that. I don't know if they'll be up day and date. As soon as they're up, I, I would like to get one up and running and uh, you know invite you know my subscribers onto that. Um, who knows? I might even do like a Patreon server as well, something like that. We'll see, because um, that could be really cool and and just have some fun and stream that a lot. I think I think that's a game I'd really like to do a lot of streams of, uh, rather than actual videos on. I think it, it's more suited to streaming and maybe even looking to do some um, co-op streams with people. You know, because it's a big multiplayer game and having some fun there, whether it's with you guys who are viewers or other uh, content creators or, or whatever kind of happens from there, but but yeah, so as I said, that you're going to see Spider-Man, you're going to see Odyssey, you're going to see Forza, you're going to see Red Dead, you're going to see Fallout 6, um, a lot of the other games I'm going to put up some um, uh, on the community side of my um, channel, you'll see some polls, which I'm, I'm very intrigued, and I'm also intrigued if you guys know of any games which I might have overlooked, might have missed, there's always loads coming, um, then, you know, please do drop me a, a comment, and uh, I'll, I'll always check out a game anyone recommends, absolutely. Uh, so yeah, just to kind of say thank you to all of you who, who continue to watch, subscribe, support the channel, uh, comment, like, all that kind of stuff, you know, it, it does mean a lot. We are at the time of recording on 4,737 subscribers, so I'm nearly halfway to my goal. My goal when I started this channel was always 10,000. I think I said that from like the beginning, like that was my dream, it still is my dream. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm getting some really nice growth right now, around 230 um, subscribers a month. And that's at a time when I feel like it's quiet at the minute. Sure, the football stuff is helping, but, um, you know, in terms of gaming, you know, the big, the, the, the stuff comes out September, October, November, that will have a real big impact on my channel, I feel. So, I, I'm really hoping by the end of the year we will 
may even hit 6,000, maybe more. Uh, that would be really nice. That would be a, a delight, because I think in my first year I got like just over 1,000. I think in my second year I got just over 2,000 um, subscribers in total. So we made 3,000, I think, by the end of year two-ish. Around that, anyway. And then if we hit 3,000 this year, that's, that's really nice growth each year, you know. And I know it's slower than a lot of people, and I know people always comment and say, you deserve more, blah, blah, blah. But the truth of the matter is, I, I've said this all along, I prefer the slower, um, like, steady growth than just to suddenly have, you know, 10,000 people show up because a video went viral or something like that. Because, you know, you guys are subscribing. It's because you've you've seen the content I've got. You like the direction the channel's going. And, you know, you're jumping in on there. It's not because of one particular video. It's because of the content I'm creating. And that means more to me, to be completely honest with you. Um, and uh, so, yeah, it, it, it's gold, you know. Uh, I really appreciate it. So, yeah, that's kind of all I've got, really. Um, oh, one more thing with Skyrim. Might be taking a break soon. I think I've, I've got another few episodes to do, but probably when all these games come out in September, October, November, we'll take a break on um, Skyrim as well. But till then, guys, thank you for watching. It's been my pleasure, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.